Hey guys, this is Ronan the Nighttime Entrepreneur and today I'm going to show you how to exclude your own IP address from inside your Google Analytics account. Alright, so let's get to it. Uh, first step is to log into your Google Analytics account. I'm just here in my dashboard currently. Um, step one is to click on admin down the left hand side of the screen as you can see here that will open up three separate tabs account property and view we're going to be working with the view tab today because we're going to be setting up a filter so we're going to want to click filters I have two examples here already done but I'm going to do a third for the purpose of this video so next step is to click add filter then just give your filter a name, uh, for example, so I'm going to call it um, Work Filter 2, for example. Underneath this we have a choice to have a filter type as predefined or custom. I always use predefined. Under the next drop down box that says select filter type, I always click on exclude because we want to exclude our own IP address. Under the tab that says select source or destination, I always click on traffic from the IP address. So you need to click on traffic from the IP addresses and then you need to select the expression. So I would say that are equal to. Great. So the next step is to get your IP address. You can simply Google my IP address these days and it should pop up. There is mine. The other method is to click start, type in CMD, that will open up your CMD box, it just takes a moment, here it is, don't touch anything just yet, all you need to do is type in ipconfig, ipconfig and hit enter. Okay, so now you see a lot of data on the screen. That doesn't matter, you're just going to go down here to IP for address, and there is your IP address as well. So you can simply type that in. So what I'm going to do is copy this IP address. So take my IP address, simply pop it into the IP address box, and just to double check that I have everything set correct, the filter name is called Work Filter 2. That doesn't really matter. That's just so you know exactly what filter it is. The filter type is predefined. We're excluding traffic from the IP address that is equal to this IP address. Click save. That's pretty much everything done. Go back and test it. Log out of your analytics account. Log back into your analytics account. And you're going to see on top of the screen here that you are now using a filtered view which may cause your user's account to be inaccurate. Um, but for us it's actually going to be accurate because we're just excluding ourselves. So I hope that helped you a lot. Please do subscribe to the channel.